how did a game that had the biggest streamers in the world promoting it for free fail to keep new and interested players in their game? With Master Duel's second anniversary here, for this video I will break down the main issues Konami overlooked and didn't care for, which led to people struggling to stay in the game. Now to be clear, this isn't a Master Duel hate video. I love the game and play it all the damn time, but the fact that only my demographic does is sort of the first problem here. To start, we need to understand conflicting fan bases. Yu-Gi-Oh! probably has the most discrepancy between how the public saw the game and how it is actually played these days. Most people in their 20s who played Yu-Gi-Oh! as kids can can describe a pretty similar situation. They love the anime, you activated my epic trap card, and they lost their mind to any meme with the blue eyes white dragon in it, and for the most part, that's what the game was. But 20 years later, and the game bears no resemblance to the original product, and I'm perfectly okay with that. The game had to evolve, and I genuinely love all the new summoning types and what you can do in the game now. Here's how I would put it. Pokemon is like checkers, Magic the Gathering is like chess, and Yu-Gi-Oh! is Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. The thing is, when Master Duel got announced, both the people who played the game at the playground and people who know what a combo spreadsheet is were both incredibly excited for the game. These two groups can never meet, because the guy who wants to use Time Wizard is going to lose his shit when his opponent flips over three floodgates and his awesome Time Wizard doesn't matter because actually, Eldritch the Golden Lord can't be destroyed by card effects this turn. And trust me, I know this feeling personally. Remember when you were one game away from ranking up and lost the coin flip to Eldritch stun? It was me, Barry. I flipped over Skill Drain Io and Vanities before you had a chance to play the game! I've already made a video about the major issues with Yu-Gi-Oh! as a whole where you can watch over here, so my criticisms will stick to Master Duel itself. Because yeah, Yu-Gi-Oh! is incredibly complex, but Master Duel did nothing to help solve the issues the game inherently has. When you first logged into Master Duel, you got a starter deck and learned the very basic rules of the game. This is good. I'm glad Konami has an avenue for complete beginners to now learn Yu-Gi-Oh! The problem is there's zero structure to take you from, okay, this is how you link summon properly, to this is how you combo in your deck properly. Like, once you're there, the game is so much fun, but Master Duel offered no way for beginners to get a level of just competency in the competitive game at all. They left an entire audience on the table because no one at Konami wants to address the elephant in the room how to get players into the competitive scene, and this is the ramifications of it. It didn't help that the game was completely barren on release. Don't let all the new stuff trick you into forgetting that on release, this game was just incomplete. Dual mates were Unity models with zero animation, none of the custom cards animations existed, and the only way to play the game was on the ranked ladder, which means you had to see this asshole all the time. There were also two less ranks, so players of differing skill were more congested, but the real killer was that this was all you had to play. Master Duel on release needed variation. Even for people like me, it got insanely boring as soon as we hit plat 1. Because, for fans of the competitive game, we were just playing a format from 6 months ago except with some more floodgates. If only there existed a format where people that liked the slower paced old school version of the game- OH WAIT THERE IS! GOAT is everything the nostalgia audience would want, and here was a chance for people to play it online and expand it. Okay, small update, apparently Master Duel is adding GOAT for a weekend. This is neat, but one, this is a critique of the game on release, and two, a weekend doesn't mean anything, we need a standard alternative to play, just make this a normal mode Konami, you idiots! Goat has none of the other summoning types that further complicated the game for beginners. Don't get me wrong, they would still probably lose, but the way they lose would be so much easier for them to follow. Plus, they can play with the old band cards of their childhood without an issue. You know how sick it would be for someone who played as a kid to, nowadays in 2024, SUMMON Wait, POT OF GREED! To draw three additional oh cards from my deck! And I summon POT OF GREED to draw three additional cards from my deck! Oh, and if you're enjoying the vid right now, please like and subscribe. We're at 200 right now, and I'm trying to climb through an algorithm of Family Guy satisfying videos. Help a guy for making some classic content. Back to the rant. You would be able to make a pack that has all of these cards in it as well, which just gives Konami more money. It's a win-win for everyone who doesn't want to just sit back and watch a Drytron combo for 15 minutes. But no, implementing a custom ban list is too much effort. They only do those all of the time. Most of the events are just a custom ban list. 
yes, I know with GOAT you would need to code in priority and that could complicate things, but even if we played a weird bastardized version with no erratas, it would still be good for general variation. Plus, a lot of the code for summoning monsters and the mechanics has been refined from the last, like, 40 Yu-Gi-Oh games ever made. Surely coding in priority isn't that difficult. The game on release felt like it needed another six months in the oven. Speaking of lacking, why are there no Konami-made guides or spotlights on the decks on the game at all? Why do I have to go to a third party just to get basic understanding of how your new cards work? This is a problem with Yu-Gi-Oh! as a whole, and I'm trying not to repeat too many of my points from that last video, but Master Duel should have been the time Konami gave us an easier way to play the decks that were released. You as a company should have the ability to explain what the cards you are releasing can do in a coherent manner. Surely the R&D team designing the cards has some understanding of how they're going to combo together. Surely you can have some of them write up something about it and give players a head start. It doesn't have to be perfect and accurate, leave the optimization to the community. But a brand new Master Duel player has no way of learning how to even start building a deck and what's good in it. If there was some breakdown of each secret pack that new players could watch in-game to help them understand what the hell these decks can do, then maybe new players would be less intimidated by a pendulum card. DK'd in his website is the entire infrastructure that Konami should have had for their own game. He and his mods are the one doing it for you, with guides, deck profiles, and data about the cards in the game. Ooh, thanks Freddy foreshadowing. DK'd also gets news about leaks, which I won't talk about here, I'm not trying to get in trouble, but I will say this. Konami should just maybe consider showing us some of the pack earlier. Konami in Japan does reveal archetypes and cards for the upcoming coming set before release. Why do they not do the same for Master Duel? Do they not understand how to build hype for an upcoming update to a video game? I feel like I am talking to a child who has never looked at an ongoing piece of media. If you don't like the leaks, consider revealing some of the pack yourself to get Master Duel players excited when the next format shifting cards are coming. And yet I still have not gotten to the single greatest scourge on this game right now. Max C. I don't know why it's still in the game. I don't care. This card is a tumor, and its defenders are worse. You draw every time your opponent special summons, in a game where even the most mid-tier casual deck has to summon three to six times. Mind you, this is a game where every draw two card in existence is either banned or limited, yet this piece of shit is at three. There's no way to play around it. You either have a card that negates it, you end your turn, or you let your opponent draw a bunch of cards cards, which ends up killing you. Mind you, this is a game where one card can end on this, you can't afford to give them any draws. I have won and lost so many games off of this card alone. It feels hollow to win with, and it feels hopeless when I lose to it. This card doesn't benefit the game, it doesn't keep combo decks in check, combo decks have been meta throughout Master Duel's lifetime, dude. It doesn't have much strategy, you just drop it whenever. All this card does is reduce the skill ceiling of each individual game it exists in. Konami did an event where we played with the American ban list without Max C. And all I saw were tweets saying this was the most fun and exciting way to play the game since release. And they were right. It felt like the weight of the world had fallen off my shoulders, and my actions meant more in every game I played. In Master Duel, not only do you need to run three of the Max C, you need to run three Ash, two Called By, and one Cross Out, usually called the Max C package. I don't want a fourth of my deck to be instantly decided for me. In the TCG, there have been formats where Ash Blossom wasn't played a ton, but in Master Duel, you have to because you need to stop Maxi resolving or you will lose. Now, put this all together for a new player getting into Master Duel. You have to learn a textbook of information in Yu-Gi-Oh! on how to play, and once you play the main game mode, it's at a level you just aren't gonna be prepared for most of the time. As soon as you leave Rookie or Bronze on release, you see people with stun cards and combo decks. Mind you, in the solo mode, you are fighting people who are putting up 1-2 to two interactions at most. This change is too jarring. There is no casual ladder or quick play for you to just boot into when this game came out, and even the current one doesn't work because you can't get your data 
dailies with it, so nobody plays it. Even if you start learning the meta, a good, like, 20% of your game's minimum are going to be solely decided by a single card. And even on the most casual end, all of the customization looks like it was made in an hour. Also, I would be remiss if I didn't mention there's this constant loading animation to every single action in the game. I was cool with it during the first month of play, but at this point, Konami, upgrade your goddamn servers. This is embarrassing. Don't get me wrong, the appreciation for what the game has become now is real. I will continue to play Master Duel, but this is why all of the big streamers don't touch this game with a 10-foot pole. They even had their mods build the decks for them, because deck building isn't intuitive. You don't know where to start without outside assistance. It feels like Konami had a chance here to give Yu-Gi-Oh! a cultural second wind, and just blew it because they had no idea how to get anyone who was nostalgic about the game into the modern era. The power creep has made for interesting and unique formats for the people who've been following the game for all this time, but has left returning players struggling. All I can ask now is if Master Duel wants to preserve its remaining audience, just like ban Maxi, please. Yu-Gi-Oh is a ton of fun, and I just want the matches to be determined by my play rather than a single Earth insect. Thank you all for watching. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed. Let's try to hit 500 soon. See ya!